My visit to this intimate retrospective that tells the untold story of the art and industry movement at Megan H. Gallery last week was thrilling, moving, and educating. An extraordinary accomplishment of my dear friend and colleague, Hugh Megan, the brain behind this brilliant and historically important show. A first survey of the radical and ambitious artistic movement, which was born in New York nearly 40 years ago and concentrated at the Art and Industry Gallery, this exhibition portrays its achievement in expanding boundaries of design and in defining the energy of lower Manhattan during the 80s through design. The Art and Industry Gallery was founded by Rick Kaufman in Soho and was active during the 80s and 90s when the neighborhood acted as the hub of New York's conceptual art and its gallery scene. Since opened its doors, it had become synonymous with the culture of downtown Manhattan. Among those frequented its regular openings were such local up-and-coming artists as Robert Maplethorpe and Keith Herring. So intriguing and provocative were the objects showcased here, always in sarcastic and stimulate dialogues with the art movement of the time, always pushing the envelope of design, telling stories, conveying emotions and memories, that Rick Kaufman space became an institution, mecca for those seeking and making design without boundaries. While art and industry had its place in the pantheon of postmodern design, intended to attract avant-garde artists, designers, and architects from all over the world seeking to exchange ideas, to this date, 15 years after it closed its doors, the gallery and the movement associated with it have not received the attention it deserves. Until this exhibition opened last week at Megan H. Gallery. For Hugh Megan, founder of the gallery, documenting and bringing to life art and industry has been fulfilling a dream. Formerly a principal dancer with Dance Theater of Harlem and one of the world's leading experts, in French post-war design, he was first introduced to the movement when acquiring Forrest Meyer's champagne wire pink chair. He was so moved and intrigued by this jeweled object that he began investigating into the history of the group. Entering the world of art and industry, he says today, was like landing on a wonderland of the type created by Lewis Carroll's seminal novel. It was a place of excess and paradox, a strange world that challenged everything he knew about design. Kaufman was a visionary who was the first to recognize and exhibit radical design by Studio Alchemia and Ron Arad in this country. His gallery has ultimately found its most substantial voice through a core of local group of artists formulating an alternative and radical language which was as conceptual as the art born around the corner. The May design which was edgy, complex and charged with meanings as American as Queen Anne. 